So I thought I would do another video, just kind of on the basic principles of how oil paint works. Now, oil paint is like extremely versatile. I mean, you can do it in layers or you can do it in a single layer, like such as an all prima technique or uh, a thick, heavy impasto technique. But traditionally, this is kind of how oil painting works. So you have your canvas or your wood that you're painting on, right? Now, the issue with oil paint is that that oil can seep into the canvas and wood and will deteriorate that surface. That is why, historically, they would put actually a, labor, a, a, a level of rabbit skin glue to help protect that surface, although it has led to preservation issues down the road. And then on top of that it would go uh, a gesso layer and then on top of that would be go a toned layer. And what I mean by toned is like a very thin, minute amount of paint kind of smeared all over the surface, the white surface. And then you start painting with different layers of paint. Now, one of the aspects of oil paint that is actually pretty cool is that you can, it's, it kind of works as like a polymerization so that you have, it's like thin layers of stained glass would be the best way to describe it. So I've tried to illustrate that here. So here you have undiluted acrylic paint. Here it's thinned with water. And here you have oil paint that has been thinned out with medium. So I'm hoping that this can help illustrate what I'm saying is that you have lots of different layer, thin layers in traditional oil paint that build up to, to create the color effects that you see in these old masters work. So I guess that's it for this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.